Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, as promised, I'm going to show you how to manually enable all the new features from Windows 11 25H2. These features can also be enabled on 24H2, so 25H2 is not necessarily needed, but of course it is always recommended to have the latest version of Windows 11 25H2 installed. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step everything that you need to do in order to have all the latest features that I showed you in the previous video in which we've talked about all the in-depth features that are present inside Windows 11 25H2. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all i recommend you to open up the settings app go into the windows update section and make sure you check get the latest updates as soon as they're available from here and then click on check for updates this way we're going to make sure that you have the latest version even if it is 25h2 or 24h2 but you need to have the latest version next up we're going to need a small tool which is called vive tool you may have heard about it this is a tool designed by albacore on Twitter or the book is closed and it is basically a tool that allows you to manually enable features that Microsoft is slowly rolling out. You know that Microsoft for a few years now have been slowly releasing features for certain regions, certain users, but there's a way with this tool to basically force enable those features without having to wait for the slow rollout. So with this tool, of course, we're going to enable hidden features such as the new start menu, the new copy dialogues with dark mode and more. Just go ahead and go in the article below in the video description. You're going to have a Vive tool there and make sure you get the latest version .zip. In this case, I'm going to get it for Intel and AMD. You just need to open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, then click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I created a folder in this PC, Local Disk C, Hidden Features. You can just create a folder yourself like this, and then select Folder. Also, copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands, and then click on Extract. And this is how easily you set up Vive 2 on your computer, as easy as that. Now, what we need to do is to open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on Run as Administrator. On your account control, of course, click on Yes. Inside CMD, we're going to have to run a few commands that have been discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com. Make sure to follow him for the latest hidden features and news about Windows 11. But first of all, inside CMD, type in CD and then space, then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool, and then press Enter. Now, just run all these commands one by one inside your CMD, as easy as that. And after you run each command, you should receive the message to successfully set feature configuration. Of course, in the article below in the video description, you're going to have all these commands. You can just copy and paste them from there without having to do any other things or pause the video. After we've copied and successfully ran all the commands, you can just close out the CMD. And then we're going to also have to open up the Microsoft Store so that we're making sure we have all the latest app updates installed. We're going to go to the download section inside the Microsoft Store and then click on check for updates. What you're mostly interested in is the phone link app and the Cross device experience host because with these two updated, we're also going to have access to the new phone sidebar inside the new start menu in Windows 11 25H2. Additionally, before restarting your computer or the changes to take effect, just open up the phone link app and make sure you have your phone linked and set up using the link to Windows app on your phone and the phone link app on your Windows operating system. After you've done all of this, make sure you right click on the start menu and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, you may notice all the new features such as the new start menu with the phone sidebar with all the options that I think are pretty cool. The new copy dialogues and other dialogues in Windows 11 that now have dark mode. The new flyouts that you can now change. Also the new AI actions inside the file explorer and many more features that if you want to get a more in-depth picture of, make sure to check out the video that I've done yesterday or the video that will be linked to this video because there I'll show you all the features in depth and after watching this video on the latest version of 24H2 or 25H2, you should have all these new features enabled. I remind you again, all the information, all the steps, the commands and Vive tool will be in the article below in the video description if you want to get it. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.